are you? This is uh, Melanie Hines. I'm the shortest um, summary of the Iraqi dinar that you'll find on the net and all the other currencies. Yes, I'm invested in a lot of different currencies, including the Zim bonds. So you can get all your information here if you want. I'm thinking we need to wait for the Iraqi dinar to go. That's the key to everything else. Can it go with the Vietnam dong? Possibly. That's just my opinion and my humble opinion. I did just want to update you hot news. It, according to there was breaking news, according to Dr. Steve Turley. If you guys have ever watched his thing, he's saying that Klaus Schwab resigned from the World Economic Forum. But trust me, there's a lot of those evil little geniuses right underneath his land that, that can, you know, pull all the switches. What do you think about that? I mean, he's an old dude. like, And he is so publicly profiled that him resigning doesn't mean they've lost power. Or do you think they've really lost power? Please comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, so I'm doing this from my mobile office in my Ram because it's a busy day here. My husband has to do some errands. We just got done with the horses. So I hope you will appreciate the time I'm taking to bring you this summary while I'm, you know, supposed to be relaxing today. Man, yesterday was a long day, but guys, gosh, that was fun, wasn't it? Didn't you think that was fun? Um, our margaritas and mysteries if you were on that please let me know and guys I always say subscribe and tap the bell why because it gets channels like mine noticed and it also helps you because um, it's just a give and take right all this information is free so just hit the like subscribe to to keep posted because I'm bringing you all the up-to-date information so what I did want to say is my friend sent um, me this and again, all this, there's no, I mean, I got all, friends all over. I've been on this uh, YouTube for five years. So look, um, evidently it says, this is from Militia Man's group. Financial experts said on Monday that the numbers mentioned in the 2024 budget are large and frightening, something the country has never witnessed before. While they indicated an exaggeration in the size of the public expenditures in the budget, they stressed the lack of transparency in financial issues so far. Banking expert Do Dr. Mahmoud Dagar stated during his hosting of the Al the Moss program with Ahmed Al Tala, followed by uh, don't 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 uh, fault me for my pronunciation, please. Um, <laughs> I got to get my glasses. This is a small print. Um, followed by news that the tripartite budget is a numerical projection for one year only. And the House of Representatives is restricting the tripart budget by approving the schedules, and there is no justification for delaying sending the budget schedules to Parliament. And the governance complain that projects have stopped due to lack of funding. So they need the money now. They need the revised rate now. This works for us, guys. In my opinion, this all works for us. Um, it says, he added, there is an exaggeration in the size of public expenditures in the budget and that the expenditure in 2023 is 140 trillion dinars and there is no transparency in financial issues yet, explaining that foreign debts are paid according to strict timings and that the Iraqi balances are good and do not need to go to debts and bonds. He pointed out that the food security law made allocations for the food basket independently and the spending of food security allocations in different budgets need clarification and that the central bank has gone beyond on the issue of cash liquidity scarcity. Uh, for his part, the economic expert Mustafa Akram Hantush said in the same program that the budget schedules have not been le leaked to the public opinion yet. And the size of the investment budget is 54 trillion dinars, indicating that the numbers mentioned in the budget are large and frightening. That the Akram said in the same program, the budget schedules have not been leaked to the public opinion yet. I think that was a, I'm sorry, that was a duplication. There is looking to be pressure on as they need funding on projects in cash liquidity and scarcity mode. They, there cannot be cash liquidity issues for very long. Things start to go haywire when that happens in markets. I would expect the central bank knows about it and understands how that is the case. It may not be surprising at this stage at all. A significant reduction in cash in markets may indicate a change is coming and new currency would fill the void. We shall see as it is an expectation to occur. And that's Militia Man's opinion. He thinks because of this, it's looking very hot. And guys, I agree. What do you think? Do you think it's heating up? I certainly do. I'm checking one more source. And guys, all these sources are remain nameless because, you know, everybody is on a hush-hush basis, which should also tell you something, right? Um, 
okay, darn it, I planned on reading you, I planned on listening to that interview. I haven't had time, guys. I have not had time. I will do a short on that later if it's worthy of me coming to you and doing a separate short. Pa apologize, guys. I didn't get a chance to listen to that. I completely spaced that. That's my fault. But again, I'm the only one doing the summary, so I hope you will please join me so you can have some fun. We're, we do pop-up margaritas and mysteries depending on the night, depending on my husband's schedule. He is a firefighter and EMT, so sometimes he goes in at night. I might do one tonight, so keep the bell tapped. Um, this is Mark Z. We know that the budget has passed with $162 billion. It was $153 billion last year. There is plenty in the news showing us it passed, but I have yet to find where they are covering a budget shortfall with a rate. I was told to expect something within days of it being passed. Comment. It's interesting they are saying billions and not trillions for their budget totals. They must have a rate hike, right, Mark Z? Um, you are getting it. We are just trying to piece it together. What is that rate? Everybody's asking, right? Um, Claire, article, the Iraqi parliament receives the budget schedules. We knew that, guys. Uh, Militiaman, the central bank begins the second phase of its banking reform strategy. They completed the first phase of reforms and now into the second phase. Quote, it will inevitably bring stability and the recovery of the dinar. This is amazing. There's some things that are happening that are obviously beyond our pay grade that are almost all available, ready to go. Inevitably, the exchange rate is the recovery. To me, that means, that's Militiaman, to me, that means they're going back they're going to, ah, excuse me, God bless me. Uh, they're going to go back to that previous era that would be a recovery. So, you know, the second phase is we're at that juncture. Frank 26, the second phase of monetary reform of the IQD will be reflected in the stability of the exchange rate and the recovery of the Iraqi dinar inevitably. Inevitably means it has to happen. In conclusion, a sanctioned program rate does not reflect stability. Amen. I agree. Um, and Mark Z said, most of what I'm getting is that the rate should be resettled on Wednesday, but I don't know what that means for us timing-wise. This actually makes sense to me because of where the sources are from and their connections. In Iraq, they are not releasing the specifics of the budget that they approved and announced yesterday. I want to know if there is a rate in there. Everybody wants to know if there's a rate in there. So guys, what do you think about, oh, this is Ray Wren. This was yesterday. Three letters are back at it again. Uh, expecting some immediate action in 24 hours. Time will tell. We're expecting the rest of a miracle tonight, Tuesday night. And so that, that is hot off the presses, guys. I hope you like this summary. That's pretty much everybody in the last 24 hours. Uh, again, I do this every day. So please subscribe, tap the bell and thank you, honey. I got me some smart water, right? Alkaline water. I love you all. I will load this as soon as I can. God bless. L love you in the peace of Christ. And I'll be loading some horsey content if you want to see that. Bye.